Today we're going to be planting up some beautiful fall mums. I love to plant mums up as soon as I can get my hands on them. Now, some may say that it's too early in the season to plant fall mums up, but I totally disagree. One of the reasons why you see mums for sale so early in the season is not to sucker us in, it's not to try to play some type of trick on us, but if you want to get your mums to be kind of like a perennial in your garden, you need to start off with a bigger size mum and you need to plant them now. But for these mums, what we're going to do is we're going to be popping these mums in some containers. So let's go grab them. Choose a brush to clean off my pots. That way, if there is any type of debris that's stuck to the container after I use this hard brush here, then I'll go ahead and spray them down once I water my plants. Okay. We're gonna set this container right here, and then we'll set the other one on the other side. We're gonna use a fern because this is gonna help us intermingle our summer show with our fall show. Perfect fit. And I'll scoot it over just a little bit. Now, let's plant the other one. at the color in this mum who can resist now this is a variety that I plant every single year in my garden I love it and it really just speaks to me and it really just goes with the flow and the theme that I'm doing in my garden so why not perfect size Here's our pots right here. We'll scoot this over off to the side. So we're gonna come in a simple container. Perfect. Now we'll plant up the next one. So I'm gonna set one right here. And let's move this out of the way. And then the other one goes here. We're gonna water in our ferns here. And you guys, ferns love a moist environment. But we're not gonna water our mums. And here's why. With the mums, the way that I prepare my mums, I like to go in and I pre-soak my mums because if your mums dry out during the time that you have them planted in the ground, you're not gonna get a good show out of them. You also wanna make sure you use some type of slow release fertilizer and continue to feed your mums throughout the season so you'll have a good show. Let's water in the next fern. We're going to be planting up some beautiful olive trees. These are the Arbacini olives. And so I'm just going to be taking them out of their nursery pot and we're going to be putting them in terracotta. Now I chose terracotta versus me using a concrete pot because your olive trees are going to want to stay more on the drier side. 
When I pot up an olive tree, what I like to do is I like to add a little bit of perlite in there. We'll pour a little bit of water in there so just when we work with the perlite, it doesn't emit so much dust. Have our screen here. All right, so this is our consistency here. I do want to top dress the top of these olive plants with some rocks. I have three bags of Riverstone here. Very cheap, $3.99 a bag. I'm not sure that I'll need all three bags, but I brought some water out here because before I use my stones, I like to go in and kind of rinse them off. You guys see that? I don't think I'll need this one. Let's refresh our water. So now we'll do this one. Now let's water these in. Just gonna wipe this pot up a bit. It's semi-evergreen. This is gonna bear fruit. If you have a young olive tree, sometimes it can take three years before it starts to bear fruit. This is a self-pollinating olive tree. I did not need two, but I went ahead and bought two because they make for a nice pair. And olive trees, believe it or not, are a great house plant because they don't require a lot of care. Now these 
olive tree our hardy zones 8b to 11 so there's people in the united states who grow olive trees outside and they don't have to use them as a house plant but because i am a zone 6b i'm going to keep my olive plants on the indoors during the winter time so from fall to winter so you guys we planted up our mums i want to know have you guys started putting any of your fall plants out we recently planted up a beautiful fall container it's doing absolutely fine and we are coming out of a heat wave absolutely we made sure we kept it water on some of the days we did bring the arrangement on the inside so we could get some reprieve from the sun i mean come on now 105 degrees who would put anything through that so a lot of my plants i was giving them a reprieve from that heat and so then now that our temperatures i think the high today is going to be 80 degrees and the low is going to be 56 perfect fall planting weather so we've already kicked off our little fall over here on garden queen let me know do you have any olive plants in your plant arsenal and i love to know have you started putting out any fall months don't forget to click like share and subscribe